Welcome back everyone to Aussie Scrapper. Today I am part participating in an Aussie YouTube hop and we are making it the month of awareness. So every participant has picked a cause close to their heart I suppose and we are proud to announce that we have a fabulous sponsor which you would have seen at the start of the video and that is Ruby Rocket. They have kindly, kindly donated the lovely prize and all you have to do to win this lovely prize is participate in the hop by watching all the lovely videos that will be going up and commenting on each video. So every every person that has watched all the videos and commented on every single lady's videos will be in the draw to win. I will be linking the next participant in the description box so all you have to do at the end of my video is click on their link, watch their video, comment on their video, they will link you to the next participant and so on and so on. I'm going to confess that when this challenge first came up I almost did not participate but um, after much thought I thought that yes I will open up about a cause close to my heart and that is domestic violence and there are so many layers to domestic violence. Uh, normally what comes to most people's heads or is the fact that, you know, you think of that battered woman with the bruises and, and you know, broken legs, broken arms. Yes, that is a very serious side of it, but there are other aspects to it. There, there are reasons why women stay in these abusive relationships. It could be for financial reasons. It could be for the children. There, it's just... It's, domestic violence has got so many different layers and women in domestic violence um, can sometimes feel very alone. They, they don't want to talk to someone because they don't want to be judged. They don't want to be told why you're staying or, um, yeah, they can sometimes feel very alone. So all I can say is, if you suspect that someone is struggling with this issue or, you know, they might have um, just come out of hospital f for whatever reason and you ask them, well, what happened? I can, I'd say a lot of the times they're not going to say the truth. They're going to cover it up with an elaborate story. They're going to cover up for their, um, their partners. They're going to cover up for the sake of their children for so many different reasons and it's just they're not ready they're not ready to talk about it but if you do suspect it all I can say is be there for them um, you know watch over them sort of see how they're coping and just be there and maybe if they feel they feel safe and supported and unjudged they might open up and it's a hard one it's it really 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 is because uh, these women They've gone through so much. They're ash they could be ashamed. They could be scared. They could be so many reasons why they why they can't share their stories or why they can't reach out. Or maybe they've been suffering for so long that they don't know how to reach out. They don't know who to talk to. They it, it becomes a real cycle of of fear and shame and. I don't know, every, every, I guess every case is different and it'll be different for everyone. But all I can say is if you suspect that a friend or a relative or whatever is going through this, approach them in a, in a gentle fashion, um, be prepared for lies. And it's not so much lies, it's, I don't know, cover-ups, whatever. It, it's such a sensitive topic and I'm sure you all understand that. So getting back to the layout or the hop, the thing was to use a ribbon in our layout. And so I used my white ribbon all around my photo because it was a symbol of protecting my daughter. I hope that she never ever experiences this in her life. I want, not just for my daughter, but for all future generations of women to never have to worry about an issue like that. I want my daughter when she sees this layout in you know 15 16 17 years time I wanted to get the message of the white ribbon that stands for domestic violence I wanted to 
get the message to be strong to to be brave and more especially I wanted to always be herself so that's why I titled it be strong uh, sorry be brave be strong be you sorry but talking about domestic violence I haven't given much instructions of what I did with this layout but I'm sure as you were watching and listening to me you understood a lot of what was going on anyway I did the title on my silhouette machine I just used uh, some fonts that I liked and then I printed them out I actually printed everything out twice and then I stuck the letters together just to give it that little bit of thickness just as if it was a, a thicker but you know you made it yourself and I left the B what I ended up doing with all the B's uh, or the BE's I just embossed them with white embossing powder two coats and for the brave and strong word I did the exact same thing I embossed with the white embossing powder and then I went back and did another layer of the embossing ink and I sprinkled some lovely purple embossing powder and then used my heat gun to melt that and I like the effect that that gave on the the U I did the same thing but I wanted to, to, to U to stand out a bit more so I used a Lindy Lindy's stamp gang embossing powder and it's a lovely little gold color now if I remember correctly the it's called angel wings gold it's a very soft so almost pearly golden color hard to explain but gorgeous so I use that on the U and you will see that further down I land up doing something a bit different but I then the letters weren't standing out for me so what I did was I got out my perfect pearls and I just put some and I used an embossing pen and I just sort of scribbled it very roughly in no particular manner and then I just used the brush to add some of that the the perfect pearls powder and it just gave it the oomph that it needed it needed a little bit of pink so because I liked it on the U I went back and I did it to all the other letters and the brave and the strong and it just sort of helped to bring everything together and to just be a bit more cohesive and I really liked it so what I'm doing here is some of those flowers I wanted them to stand off the page a bit so I'm just using some foam that I get at the at the junk store and I cut it up and yeah just using some glue so that the the flowers pop a little bit just gives them a bit of height so this layout was it was very simple there's um, nothing too fancy about it just some lovely a lovely paper that I picked was that one from Fab Scraps and the paper is called Be Happy which at the end of the day was really quite appropriate because that's what I want not only for my daughter but for all women especially for all young women I want you all to be happy and take a stand that um, that domestic violence is just not on whether it be emotional or whether it be physical or whatever there's so many so many aspects as I said so anyway I hope you all got a lot from this video and oh I forgot I had this lovely bow which uh, some embellishments I don't normally use bows but I put it there at the bottom of the layout and then I'm making my own little white ribbon bows here with some craft ribbon that I had and I'll end up just gluing it with a glue dot that's um, I'm just off camera when I'm doing that it was a bit fiddly and I land up doing three of those lovely little bows and I just put them at the end of the bees so here is where I decided that the U was really not standing out so I just used some more embossing ink and I know it looks blue on the camera but this embossing powder is actually purple it's not blue so I don't know why it's coming out blue on my camera anyway and yes I just used a heat gun to melt that powder and then I sort of thought oh no it, it's too purple now so to because the other letters had the purple sprinkles what I did here was I added some of that lovely uh, angel wings embossing powder I think I said it was called anyway and I sprinkled that on angel wings gold sorry so I'm just going to stick down the U and that's about all there was to this layout a lot of fussy cutting was the hardest thing the those flowers were a bit painstakingly to cut out there's a lot of detail in there but it was really worth it I just did it while I was watching married at first sight and I was doing my fussy cutting so that was the end 
of my layout thank you so much for joining me and uh, yes till we see you again now don't forget to pop on to the other ladies video click on her link comment on her video and so forth and so forth and you might win a lovely prize anyway till next time stay safe everyone <laughs>